My name's David Maynard. I'm the Curator of Natural Sciences at the Queen Victoria Museum and Art Gallery in Launceston. My name's Megan and I've just completed an honours project looking at the soft coral assemblage of the Lower Tamar River estuary. Uh, I've been diving in the Tamar for more than 20 years. Some of the sites in the Tamar are known for their uh, high biodiversity. Uh, one of the components of that is the sponge dominated invertebrate assemblage which is a fancy name for the sponge gardens and all the organisms that live in it. The soft corals stand out. The ones that you'll see most often once you've got your eye in are the octocorals, the, the true soft corals. Unlike hard corals, um, the soft corals aren't so much a reef forming organism but they can still be quite a um, dominant part of a reef system and particularly the communities in the Tamer because they're temperate and they're um, located in an estuary as well, they're quite a unique community and really we only know um, of communities like this in a few other places in Tasmania. The project uh, was started with some funding from the Plomley Foundation which is uh, run through the museum and uh, it soon became evident that there were opportunities to do collaborative research to broaden the data set and so NRM North kindly uh, helped to fund a, a survey of the seabed habitat and inhabitants. The project aimed to identify the species that were there and then conduct a survey to look at their representation in the wider community in the estuary. Megan's work was based on finding and selecting out soft corals for identification as well as uh, doing photo quadrat surveys to work out what the community was made of. Uh, it's, diving in the Tamer is quite challenging, particularly because of the strong tidal currents. There's really about an hour window to actually dive each day. So for the sampling, we really had to time our dives to coincide with a period of, of slack high tide, which meant we could only sample one site per day. It was, it was exciting, particularly where we looked at the DNA sequences and saw that they really didn't match up with what these species have previously been called, where we saw there were clear differences. Um, it definitely, yeah, it definitely was an exciting time for the project, but in some ways it's, it's not really surprising given that no one's really looked closely at this community before either. So far, Megan's been able to identify two novel genus and four species of soft corals, and we're, we're confident there's more out there. With more work, we will find more. Really, we could have picked any taxa and found new species. There's that much to be found in the Tamer.